Hey, I'm Dr. Hannah. I'm a physician with type 1 diabetes. I'm also certified in advanced diabetes management. And today we're going to talk about the different types of diabetes. Now, a lot of people are most familiar with type 2 diabetes, which is the classic insulin resistant form of diabetes. But we're also going to talk about type 1 diabetes, LADA, and MODI, which are acronyms. And we'll get into exactly what those mean. First, we'll start with type 1 diabetes. Out of the three, type 1 diabetes, LADA, and MODI, type 1 diabetes is by far the most common. This is an autoimmune disease where the immune system attacks insulin producing beta cells in the pancreas. It usually starts in childhood or adolescence, but it can develop at any age. People with type 1 diabetes need insulin for survival. They have an insulin deficiency after they get through their honeymoon period and their body is no longer making insulin. The honeymoon period can last about six months to two years. Diagnosis of type 1 diabetes is confirmed with high blood sugar, low insulin, and low C peptide levels. C peptide is a molecule that's released when our body produces insulin, and so if that C peptide is negative, it means our body's not producing insulin on its own. LADA, or latent autoimmune diabetes in adults, is sometimes called type 1.5. It's also autoimmune, just like type 1 diabetes, but it develops more slowly and usually shows up in adulthood, often after the age of 25 to 30. At first, people may not need insulin and are sometimes misdiagnosed as having type 2 diabetes. Over time, as more beta cells are destroyed, insulin is required. The key test is finding autoantibodies in adults who don't fit the typical type 2 pattern. Now, the last category is MODI, and this stands for Maturity Onset Diabetes of the Young. Now, MODI is very different. It's a genetic form of diabetes caused by a single gene mutation that affects insulin production. It usually appears in adolescence or early adulthood, and it's often mistaken for type 1 or type 2 diabetes but the family history pattern is a clue. There are multiple subtypes of MODI and treatment depends on which gene is affected. Some forms respond well to oral medications like sulfonylureas, while others may not need much treatment at all. As an overview, type 1 diabetes and LADA are autoimmune in origin, while MODI is genetic mutation. The age of onset for type 1 diabetes is typically childhood and adolescence, but we're seeing it more and more in adulthood, even later adulthood. LADA is typically diagnosed in adulthood, usually over the age of 25 to 30. And MODI, we're seeing most oftenly diagnosed in teens or 20s, but it usually comes with a strong family history. Now, the treatment for type 1 diabetes is insulin for life. That's the best that we have right now. There are some brand new advancements that have us hopeful, but that's what it looks like for the majority of people. LADA may start without insulin, and they may eventually need it later on. And people with MODI, it really depends on the gene they may use pills, they may use insulin, sometimes mild treatment. Someone with MODI may not need insulin, while it would be absolutely life-saving and required with someone with type 1 diabetes. Someone with LADA may be misdiagnosed as type 2 for years and not get the right care. And so understanding these differences is important. MODI, LADA, and type 1 diabetes are often confused, but they're not the same, and knowing the difference is critical for proper treatment and long-term health in most cases. Now, not always. Typically, what we'll do when someone's blood sugar is abnormal is we will treat the blood sugar. And if we're able to get successful outcomes and manage blood sugar levels without understanding the true difference or the true diagnosis, that's okay. I think where the problem comes into place often is if someone does have an insulin requirement and we are under the impression that they just have insulin resistance, they are not getting the insulin that they truly need to manage their blood sugar. And that's where the concern mostly comes in from my clinical experience. There are four types of main antibodies that we can test for in someone with type 1 diabetes or LADA. The first is the GAD65, which stands for glutamic acid decarboxylase antibody. The second is IA2, insulinoma associated antigen 2 antibody. The third is zinc transport 8 antibody and insulin autoantibody usually seen in younger children if we're going to see it. Now, LADA, again, is an autoimmune condition, but it develops more slowly. And the most common antibodies that we're seeing with LADA are the GAD65, but the IA2 or the zinc T8 may also be present in some people. At first, they may not need insulin, but over time, more and more beta cells can be destroyed and insulin can become necessary. As a reminder, MODI is not autoimmune, and so 
autoantibodies are going to be negative in this diagnosis. Instead, diagnosis is confirmed through genetic testing for mutations in one of several genes like the HNF1A, HNF4A, or the GCK gene. These details may not be necessary to you, but I do think it's helpful to understand that the way that we look at these is different and there are things that we can do to test in order to tell them apart. So now you know the differences between Modi, Lada, and type 1 diabetes. I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, please link them below. And if you are interested in learning more, please subscribe. I've got plenty of resources, including the resources that I use to create the references for this video in the description. I also have links for things like my online course, my website, and my clinical practice. If you are wanting more support with diabetes or optimizing blood sugar management, this might be the place for you to take a further look. Thanks so much for sticking to the end and I hope to see you next time.